So in these rules, most of the time now we may be looking at fractions, especially for this chapter. So on the quotient rule, maybe you're subtracting fractions. For the product rule, maybe you're adding the fractions. Okay, if you add or subtract fractions, just remember you need common denominators. Uh, you can't really make zero a fraction. If it's negative, once again, we're just reciprocating that value. Um, if it's something like this, and we, this may require some multiplication of fractions. For example, if this was a to the power of one half, then you'd have a to the power of m over two, because m times one half is m halves. So just be aware of that. You may see some fractions in these, whereas before we, we only saw whole values or integer type values. Seems like we did one like this already, right? So on this one, so uh, we have the common base of y, but we have our two exponents, four-thirds, and we also got a negative one-thirds. Now, since we're multiplying these two together, we're just going to add those using the exponent rules. The great thing about this one is it gave us the common denominator of three, so I just, I'm just going to have four plus negative three, uh, negative one, sorry. And this would be y to the power of uh, 4 plus negative 1 is 3, which would give us y to the power of 1. But again, we don't usually show that 1, so that's our final answer.